Merry Christmas from the entrance to the Basilica of the Nativity here in Bethlehem in the Holy Land. My name is Father John Paul, Rector of the Tantor Ecumenical Institute. Every year as I get older, I recognize even more so how important this season is to remind us of the intensity of God's unconditional love for us, for God's creation as well. In the Orthodox Christian tradition, there's a phrase that's used that has a very special meaning and significance about the incarnation, about the nativity. Divine condescension. For many, it's an unusual phrase since condescension is not a comfortable phrase to hear. It has such a negative meaning for us. To be condescending means to look down upon. It means to treat as lesser, to demean or to be demeaned. Yet, in a spiritual sense, it refers to God who is so beyond, so high above, so all-encompassing, so incomprehensible that nothing is able to contain God. There's a phrase that's also used in our Byzantine prayers regarding Mary. It's a phrase that says, Your womb has contained what the expanse of the universe cannot but it refers to a God who chooses to be immersed into a lower form, to enter into our human existence, so as to, to lift it up, so as to transform it, to bring it back into God's divine nature. How awesome, how incredible, how important it is that we continually be reminded about that. To use the words of St. Athanasius, he became what we are, so that we can become what he is. God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. Born into human frailty, into human weakness, into human suffering, into the human condition, into the human struggle. But not just as one point within time, but continually. Christ is born and we're called to remember this event to let it come to life again and again and again each year. In contemplating the nativity scene, our focus is really meant to be on that mystery of divine condescension, of one choosing to be born into a mission of restoring humanity to the garden. And so our focus, Christ is born, thus glorify him by how we live, by how we breathe, by how we have our being in him, with him, through him, in unity of the, with the Holy Spirit. And so I conclude this message with a poem that expresses for me an Ignatian contemplation of the Nativity. It's called My Child, My Choice by the Jesuit poet St. Robert Southall. Let folly praise what fancy loves. I praise and I love that child whose heart no thought, whose tongue no word, whose hand no deed defiled. I praise him most. I love him best. All praise and love is his. While him I love, in him I live, and I cannot live amiss. Love's sweetest mark, Laud's highest theme, man's most desired light, to love him life, to leave him death, to live in him delight. He mine by gift, I his by debt. Thus each to each other do. First friend he was, best friend he is, all times will try him true. Though young, yet wise, though small, yet strong, though man, yet God he is, as wise he knows, as strong he can, as God 
He loves to bless. His knowledge rules, his strength defends, his love doth cherish all. His birth our joy, his life our light, his death our end of thrall. Alas, this child weeps, he sighs, he pants, yet do his angels sing. Out of his tears, his sighs, his throbs, doth bud joyful spring. Almighty babe, whose tender arms can force all foes to fly, correct my fault, protect my life, direct me when I die. Merry Christmas to one and to all. God bless.